Hello security tube. In this video, we will look at SNMP dictionary based attack on a Viata router. So as we can see, the router is already up and running on a VMware instance. Now let's go to the backtrack instance, which will be the attacking machine. Let's quickly search for SNMP to locate our SNMP scanner with which we launch a attack. So as you can see, there is an auxiliary module called SNMP community scanner, which we will use. However, before launching the SNMP attack, let's verify that there is an SNMP connection which can be made with the Viata router. So we'll use nmap for this purpose, hyphen s u for a UDP scan and the port that's restricted initially to 161 which is the SNMP listener port and then let's go ahead and run it on the Viata router. This is the IP address. Let's also add a hyphen n because we don't care about DNS resolution. So as we can see 161 UDP is open, seems to be filtered and is running SNMP. So we are good to go. So let's go ahead and use the SNMP community scanner. Okay, so a couple of options here. One is the batch size, which is the total number of hosts to probe in each side. Don't really care about this. The communities. This is interesting because this contains the list of commonly given community names. Right? Right from the public and private to a long list, which is good. Uh, our hosts, this is something we have to set to point to the Viata router. Our port 161 default is good. Uh, number of concurrent threads, one is good enough because we are just going to scan one router anyway. So let's go ahead and set our hosts to the Viata router. Now let's go ahead and exploit. But before we do that, See, a lot of times we might just end up firing these automated utilities without understanding what is happening in the background. So in order to do this, we'll use Wireshark. So what we'll do is we'll start a very simple capture and tell it to capture SNMP traffic, right? So now when we run the SNMP community scanner in Metasploit, this will go ahead and tell us what kind of packets Metasploit is sending to go ahead and break down the security defense on the Viata router. Let's run exploit. So if you notice, it's already come out with a false positive. Uh, sorry, it's already come out with the community string, which is X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Right, and auxiliary module execution is completed. Now let's go to back to our Wireshark and look at what was the traffic which was sent. Let's go up. So if you notice, uh, the community manager module is sending a get request right? with these different community strings. So first one was public. So it's trying two different versions of SNMP. One is version one and the other is version two C, right? And then it is repeating the same for the other strings. So if you go back, you'll actually notice the first community string is public, right? And if we go ahead and look at our first packet, the community is set to public. Similarly, the second packet community is set to public. We are just trying a different version of SNMP. Now the third packet has a community of private, which is what is the second entry in the file, right? So basically the Metasploit SNMP community manager is sending two requests per community string 
for different versions of SNMP and seeing if a response is obtained. So if you notice right now, uh, we are sending but we are not receiving any reply from 252. Let's scroll down, scroll down. So now if you notice, we did receive a reply. And this is for the community string X, Y, Z, Z, Y. And we have gotten a response, right, with an object name as well as an object value. Here is another response, right, where of course generally this SNMP listener would support multiple uh, protocols simply for back compatibility. And here also we have the community string X, Y, Z, Z, Y. And this is exactly what the SNMP community scanner is showing us in the result. So well, that's all for this video. What we basically wanted to point out is the SNMP community string can be found out using a dictionary based attack or even a brute force attack at times. And this is exactly how the traffic would look like when such a brute force or dictionary attack is underway. There would be multiple get requests and get next requests uh, which are being sent by the attacker machine to the SNMP enabled device. The community string for which it does receive a response is what is the valid community string. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you. Please leave a comment behind.